Hey everyone and welcome back. I just put out a video on canning meat. I've got a lot of people on there interested in going down this road of canning your own meat and canning your vegetables, etc. Sounds like a lot of people are interested in going down the road of canning. I gave you guys the old school way of doing it in case of an emergency, in case things get really bad really fast. But is it the safest method? The safest method is using a pressure canner. If you've got the ambition like we do to do some serious canning, stocking up now, beating all the hyperinflation, paying less for meat and other things that you can can, and stocking it up now. I've got so many people asking, which one do I use? This is the one we use. This is an all-American pressure canner. Also, there's a lot of you out there that are nervous about using a pressure canner. This one happens to be the best, in my opinion. It seriously has six points of lock nuts that go down on all sides, and this thing is built like a tank. If you're worried about safety, I would definitely go this route, a tank versus a car. Why did we buy this one versus other ones? Number one, high quality. The size of it, it's the bigger size. You can actually put two layers in here. And when it comes to canning and conserving fuel, you wanna can as much as possible at once. And if you look at the ratings and reviews on this, amazing. It's a heavy duty cast aluminum canner. This happens to be a professional quality pressure canner pretty sure it's the best one you can get and the cool thing about this one has a metal to metal seal so you don't ever have to replace a gasket these safety pressure tabs right here are made to go off in case it ever gets too much pressure making it way safer than you thought again this is an all-american model number 921 i'll leave a link for amazon in the description below so you guys can get a better look at it or if you like to shop on amazon it's going to be there for you I'm also gonna leave a link to another good one, another good pressure canner. It's made by Presto and it's half the price as this one. This one's kind of spendy, that's the downside of it, but it's the serious one if you're wanting to get really serious and feel safe at the same time. For us, we don't spend money on fast food. We don't spend money on a bunch of extra stuff. This is the kind of stuff we save our money for. As you can see, this thing's a beast. And like I said, it's the large size, you can get a ton in it. Let me show you two other things I think you should buy. Okay, so this is the propane burner I was talking to you about in the last video. This one's mine. You can see it's used and abused. But maybe you don't have a gas-powered grill or a gas-powered stove. In that case, you're gonna need this guy outside so you can do some canning in your yard or wherever you're at. The third thing is propane tanks. Get your propane tanks now. Gas is going through the roof in price. Have some propane tanks. This thing lasts forever on one of these tanks. And with this trio of recommendations right here, you're gonna be able to do some canning aside from the small stuff like the jars and all that. So there you go. It's a little bit of a rabbit trail off the last video, but I knew that you guys wanted to know what we're doing, getting serious about prepping and preparedness with all of this craziness going on right now. We wanna be as ready as possible. We also wanna go out and get some of that meat before we can't afford it. Remember guys, we're gonna be doing a bunch of videos on preparedness with this canner, preppers in mind. We're gonna be doing a lot of canning related long-term food storage videos coming soon. Be sure to hit the like button. We'll see you guys on the next one.